Well, good morning everybody. It's uh, Tuesday the 27th of April and it's uh, my privilege to do the devotion with you this morning. Um, just wanted to um, share again what uh, just some thoughts from uh, 2 Timothy. Um, really, uh, I shared a week last Sunday and uh, I wanted to share with you just my favourite verse uh, in that in, in the chapter, in chapter 2. And Paul writes to Timothy and he says in verse 15, uh, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, uh, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that really is a, is a great exhortation to Timothy uh, and also a great exhortation to us to, to not be ashamed of ourselves but be approved unto God, not unto men but unto God. A worker does, does not, who does not need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. And I, I love what Paul says there. He says, be diligent, Timothy. Uh, and what he's saying is, do your best. And isn't that what we say to our kids? You know, they might not be the best in their school at what they do. They might, you know, uh, they, might, they, might, they might not be even particularly good in, in, a, in a particular area of their study, but what's important as a parent is that our children do the best and they, and, they, and they give it the best shot so do your best Timothy that's what Paul is saying knowing that it's the approval of, of God that that matters rather than the approval of men and I just shared this um, the other Sunday in, in uh, Jim Elliot's wife um, Elizabeth Elliot spoke about Jim when he was uh, studying at Wheaton and she said that he made up his mind that he wanted two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts and an AUG. And the one he wanted most was the AUG, the approved unto God. <laughs> and that really is the, the degree that we, we should all strive for, spiritually speaking, uh, the, the approval unto God. And, and really just that is really my, my first uh, encouragement to you to you this day that, that your life uh, you might live a life you might seek to live a life that is that you might be approved unto God uh, and the second thing I just wanted to talk is talk about is linked to that is this idea of um, of being a vessel of honor and and further in the chapter Paul speaks about being a vessel of honor in verse 21 he says, If anyone cleanses himself, uh, from the Latin he'd been speaking about those things that make us uh, dishonourable, he says he will be a vessel of honour. Uh, sanctified, that means to be set apart. And useful for the master, uh, prepared for every good work. And that and again is, is a great um, verse for us to read this day. The Apostle Paul speaks there of being being a vessel or, or simply a, a utensil chosen of God um, and truly it is it is a great privilege to be to be a chosen vessel uh, when when God instructed Ananias to, to go and find Paul following his conversion uh, the Lord said to Ananias but the Lord said to him go for he is a, a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. And uh, we need to just bear that in mind this day, that we are chosen vessels uh, to reveal who, who he is amongst our peers, amongst those that we, that we spend time with. And then Paul also speaks of, of being humble in the faith and, and, and talking about this glorious message that we have is... Is, uh, it says we have this treasure, this is 2 Corinthians 4, 7, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. And I've really, I, I really, I've really been taken aback just by this image of, of a vessel of honour and a vessel of dishonour. How the vessel of honours were used for the, for the drinking water at the table, how they were used for the the ceremonial cleansing, how they were made out of gold and silver, and yet the vessels of 
dishonour being left uh, in the kitchen for the wooden clay the wooden clay pots that we use for the for the slop basically and, and the and, and the waste it really got me to thinking about um, just about uh, the honours list as well you know I think it's twice a year that there's, there's an honours list comes out and, and people who are supposedly des deserve it receive an honour from the Queen uh, and, and we see often that, that there are people in sports and media and and and, and other areas of, of life that, 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 that are awarded CBEs or MBEs or OBEs. There was even a BE and I was looking just at the history of the, the honours and it, it's quite a, it's fascinating and the, and the medals that are given out are, are absolutely tremendous. I'd love to get a hold of one of those. But you know there's the 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 important thing I suppose for us as Christians is that we would we would seek to live our lives that, that, that God would see us as as honourable and that God would 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 honour honour us as we honour him. Uh, and I just want to find a, a particular verse in Matthew. I'm just going to find it. I didn't have it teed up. So I'm just going to find it one sec. I just want to go to Matthew chapter 6. The wonders of the internet. You can just bring up anything as quickly as you like. Matthew chapter 6. And verse 4. I don't like that version so I'm just going to change it. I like this. Start verse 3. When you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Verse 4. Give your gifts in private and your father who sees everything will reward you. And really that's, that's what I'm talking about this, this morning really is, is it's, not, it's just seeking to, to live a life where we're, where we're loving the Lord and loving others. Not in a way that's showy, but just in a way that, that is honourable. And in a way that testifies that, that you and I are approved unto God. That we are honourable vessels. And uh, we are useful vessels that he might use us this day. Well, God bless you guys and have uh, a great Tuesday. Uh, and we'll catch up soon. God bless you.